So now that you understand the basics of integration or antiderivatives, we can talk about something that you may or may not have heard of called the reverse power rule. The reverse power rule says that if we're given an integral of a number to a power, some number, we can find its antiderivative by using the following formula. So we'd have x to some number, the answer would be x to some number plus 1 over some number plus 1. Of course, we can't forget our plus c, and this only works when n is not equal to negative 1. Now the reason behind that is has to do with another rule, and I won't go over it just yet, but I'll just write it here to the side, because if we have the integral of 1 over x, that's going to equal the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. Okay, so let's put this reverse power rule to use. So let's say that we have, I'll choose a different color here. Let's say we've got, we're looking to find, we're looking to integrate x to the third power, basic one to start. Okay. So we have our x here, and this is our n. So n, in this case, equals 3. So we can start writing our answer. We have x to the n plus 1 over the n plus 1. which simplifies to x to the fourth over 4. And we can check our work. So let's say we wanted to check our work here. So we get a problem that looks like d dx x to the fourth over 4. Remembering rules of differentiation, we can take the constant out, which is 1 fourth. So that becomes d dx, 1 over 4, times x to the fourth. And the derivative of x to the fourth is 4x to the third, using the power rule. So we get, so we get 1 fourth times 4 x to the third. You should see right away that we can cancel the force, which yields us a final answer of just x to the third. Compared with this, you can see that this method does in fact work. And we can do a couple more examples. and just get this stuff out of the way here. Okay. All right, let's say we've got this problem. We need to integrate that. Looks ugly, but for starters, we can just take this and bring it up to the numerator to make this easier for us. Because then we're going to make it into this format up here, the x to the n format. So we'll rewrite that. So we have x to the negative 3 dx. 
using our our reverse power rule our answer would look like start to look like x to the n plus 1 n in this case equals negative 3 so we have negative 3 plus the 1 over negative 3 plus the 1 again which simplifies to x to the negative 2 over negative 2 plus c and that's our final answer for the next example I'm going to show you what happens if n is negative 1 and that's going to relate to this the natural log rule here so we have this problem integrate 3 over x dx now we're going to try to use the power rule and I'm going to show you what happens when you do you can see that if we move this up here x is going to be, I'm sorry, the exponent of x is going to be negative 1. So if it's x to the 1 on the bottom or x to the negative 1 on the top, it's not going to work out. You can't use the power rule. And I'll show you exactly why. Let's just try to do it out. So we get x. Well, for starters, we can take the, uh, the constant out. So we have the constant, 3. Okay, and then we have x to the n, which is uh, negative 1, plus 1, you can already see a problem, over negative 1, plus 1, and that's where the problem gets bigger. This would be fine, 0 on the top would be fine, but 0 on the bottom doesn't work. So this would be undefined. It would just be an undefined answer. That's not a valid answer. That's not the that's not going to be the answer for us. So we can't use that. In the case of n equaling negative one, we use this rule here. This is a natural log problem. So we re rewrite this as three times the integral of Yep, 1 over x dx. Which equals 3. 1 over x equals ln of absolute value of x plus c. So, 3 ln absolute value of x plus c. And that's our answer. I'll do uh, I'll do at least one more here, one or two more, and just get this out of the way. Okay. And now that we got the natural log problem out of the way, just get rid of that. All right. we have to integrate that's a really terrible looking root square root of x dx best method for this when you have a square root you can just take that exponent to the half power so we have the integral of x to the one-half power using our reverse power rule we get x to the n plus one and in this case equals one-half so we have one-half 
plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 and I prefer to write in decimals you can write this in fractions in fractions it would look like this simplified it would be x to the 3 halves over 3 halves and to simplify this we can just take the reciprocal and multiply it so that would equal yeah I'm just making sure that I'm doing this right it would equal 2 x to 3 halves over 3 I think that's right and if we wanted to take this in decimal form this is 1.5 and this is 1.5 so we'd have x to the 1.5 over 1.5 and can't forget our plus C. <laughs> so plus C on both of these. Without that, that would be the wrong answer. <laughs>